So let's get into some of the benefits of sun gazing. Sun gazing provides you with the opportunity to improve your eyesight. That's very beneficial. I know a lot of people struggle with their vision and you want to make your vision 2020. You want to make your vision A1. So sun gazing will help with that. Uh, another benefit of sun gazing is that it helps with weight loss. So I know that there's a lot of women out there that want to lose weight, especially lose that gut, which you should be trying every day to lose because there's a lot of you know, toxins and fat that hides there. You want to get rid of that. Um, so the way that it helps you to decrease your weight is because it decreases appetite. And if you ain't got no appetite, you're not going to eat therefore you're gonna lose weight. Sun gazing gives you overall more energy and vitality which I experienced firsthand so I can attest to the truth of that. Sun gazing increases sex drive and stamina so for a lot of people who are really into sex like that I'm not really but for those who are sun gazing will definitely help with that so you might want to get into some sun gazing to increase that. Sun gazing increases the production of melatonin and serotonin uh, in the body. I'm going to make another video talking about those two specific uh, chemicals in the body and how they work and how to balance them out. So that's going to be in another video, but for now we're just going to keep it short and sweet and neat. Sun gazing raises awareness and consciousness. When I started sun gazing, I became one with nature. I felt myself becoming in tune with nature. I started bird feeding and I felt like Adam having dominion over all of the animals before sin entered the world. So I started looking at people and things differently. I started looking at myself differently and the things that I valued and uh, God, even though I believe in God, I, I, I honored him differently. I valued him. I prayed differently. So sun gazing definitely helps with that. It was like I was eating the sun. Sun gazing helps to decalcify the, the pineal gland. And I should also make another video on that, going more in depth on that, but it also does help to decalcify that. Now, fun fact, uh, fluoride blocks the pineal gland. So if you have any toothpaste or you're drinking any water, anything that has fluoride in it, you might want to make sure you get that out and don't put it in your body because it's going to block or calcify. Sun gazing helps with, I mean, they say it helps with, you know, psychic powers and clairvoyance and stuff like that. So for those that do believe in it, I would recommend that you sun gaze to help strengthen those powers. Clairvoyance is, I believe, being able to see into the future or see things before they happen. So, and I do believe in that to an extent because there's been times where I, there was, I remember when I was younger, I'm 24 now, but I remember when I was younger, there was a time when maybe when I was like 20, 21, 20, and everything that I kept thinking about just kept happening like time after time, week after week, day after day, and it, it was becoming scary. And it got to the point I'm like, am I Raven from That's All Raven? Like, am I actually seeing into the future? Is God calling me to be a prophet or something like that? So for those that do believe in clairvoyance, sun gazing is the way to go. And lastly, sun gazing just improves your overall health. There's a lot of benefits. You know, they've been lying to us. They were telling us that we absorb a lot of the, you know, sun through our skin. But as far as I know, we, con we consume 98% through our eyes and only 2% through our skin. That 2% can go a long way, though. Don't get me wrong. But 98 through our eyes, we got to look, look at the sun. We have to look at the sun. The sun will feed us. Now, how do we ease into it? Well, I say only sun gaze about three to four times a week. Start off with three seconds a day and grow it. Try to grow it each time. And then you never want to sun gaze, however, for more than 30 minutes. 30 minutes should be your maximum, your total. Uh, and a lot of the times, you know, we're, we live busy lives. We've got to go to work and so on and so forth. And even on our days off, we're still busy. So try to get as much sun gazing in as you can. But three seconds works as well. Obviously, the longer the better, you'll reap more of the results. But doing something is better than doing nothing. So if you get a little bit in, that's better than getting nothing in, right? Um, and as you keep sun gazing, now I'm at the point where I do it at noon. Uh, I'm not telling you guys to do it. I'm not recommending it or whatever. Read between the lines, guys. Read between the lines. But um, I do it. I do it. So do it at your own discretion. I'm just letting you know the benefits of sun gazing. 
and what it's done for me and why I highly recommend it. So once again, oh, also sun gazing could get inside your body and kill those bacteria and things like that for those who have diseases. It'll get in there and do what's working, bust it up in there. So anyways, I want to keep it short, neat, and sweet. You're rocking with the Trap God Z. Follow me on Instagram at Herbal Trap House. We're going to push it over the screen. Herbal Trap House, just like that. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. Shoot me a DM. I respond. Holla at me.